Okay, so this is still section 3.4, the chain rule. But I wanted to kind of go over the general rules. So if your base is not an X, it's anything else other than just X by itself. The way you do the power rule is you bring down the power, you keep your base the same, you decrease the exponent by one, and then you multiply by the derivative of that base. If you're taking the natural log of anything other than just X, when you take the derivative, it'll be one over that original um, argument, and then it'll be times the derivative of that argument. If you're taking the derivative of an exponential function and the exponent is anything other than x, then you do still get e to that same exponent, but you have to multiply by the derivative of that exponent. Now if you take the derivative of sine of an angle, it would be the cosine of that angle times the derivative of that angle. The derivative of cosine would be negative sine of that original angle times the derivative of that angle. The tangent would be secant squared of the original angle times the derivative of that angle. So on and so forth. And then we have two new ones that we haven't really discussed, but that's because we usually don't see them when it comes to um, calculus one, but you may see them in calc two or calc three. Um, and just so that you have this in your note sheet um, for future reference, um, you can say that you've at least seen it, even though we may not practice it a whole lot in this particular class. But in any exponential equation is actually that base times to the exponent, original exponent, times the derivative of the exponent. This is all the same as with the natural exponent, um, the natural base. Okay, but the only difference is, is that if this is not E, it's anything other than E, two, three, five, four, anything, you have to also multiply by the ln of that base. Whereas up here, if you were to multiply by the ln of E, really you're just multiplying by one, which is why the ln of E is not even included in that response. Okay, now the log, any base, not necessarily just the natural base E, but any base would be one over the original argument times the derivative of the argument, but then times one over ln of A. And again, up here the base is E, so we don't multiply by one over ln of E because that would just be one over one, which is one, which doesn't change this original um, claim. So I just wanted you to have the general chain rule formulas. These would be good to have on your note sheet for say the review and then the test.